Hello family, I welcome you to Mahadi channel and I greet you with the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Today again we're going to learn a lot on this channel. We are going to learn a lot. Believe me when I say so. We're going to learn and be a better person. So let's share she see here as usually. She's going to teach about people who forget their dream. There's a people who forgot totally what they dreamed about. When you woke up in the morning, you realize that you did dream, but you not remember anything. So today, she's going to clarify that. She's going to tell what you're supposed to do as this channel is a learning channel. We are learning from God. We are learning the ways of God. Each and every day we are growing spiritually. God is on our side on these last days. Also, don't forget to share, comment, and subscribe. Now, let's get into the video. If we have a strong Christian walk, if we have a strong Bible reading, prayer, and fasting game, it makes your soul very robust and you're able to hold on to your dreams and bring them with you out of the sleeping state. A lot of people wake up and absolutely nothing is in their head. Two categories. Nothing is in their head and they don't even remember that they dreamed. Second category, nothing is in their head. They know they dreamed something. They have no idea what it is. They pray, 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 and nothing comes back. If that happens to you a lot, your soul is not robust. You have a weaker form of Christianity. No one is judging you here, so there's no need to get offended. If there's one thing about Christians, for some reason, I don't understand it. They don't like facts. If you're waking up and you can't remember your dreams, why would you get mad? Is this not the fact? Is it not the truth? Is it not what you're going through? Don't you want to know how to get better? You get better by Bible study. Those who think they can live this Christian life and skip over Bible study, well, more power to you. I don't know how you think you're going to get God better and skip over the Bible. Podcasts won't do it for you. Unless you have some kind of difficulty that means that you have to listen to the audio Bible, get a print Bible and start reading it. The entirety of the Bible has been given us, given to us for many things, but one of the things it says is instruction. What that instruction is supposed to do day after day, week after week, month after month, year after year, as you submit to the Word of God, is increase the distance between hearing stuff and reacting. The Bible is there to teach us how to hear things and respond. The more space, the more grown, the less space, no matter your age, the less grown. We still have three more months until the end of the year. Get a print Bible and make sure that you contact those words to your eyeballs every morning and every night. Our life is in the scriptures. Why? Because Jesus Christ is the word of God. He is the word of God. You are literally immersing yourself into the risen Christ every time you enter the word of God. The Bible actually supernaturally imparts so much robustness into you. So much robustness into you. Don't sit in front of Netflix until 2 a.m. in the morning and then jump into bed. Just say, oh God, I love you and go to sleep and expect anything to happen there. No. Spend time with God before you go to bed. Pray and say, Lord, I cover my spiritual sight. Help me to remember what I see. Help me to remember what I hear. Your soul will then start to, the more you read the word of God, the more you incorporate fasting, your soul will become like a net with very few holes. When you go into sleep, when you go into the spiritual realm, when God is throwing fish in there, you will net the fish and then you will bring it out. That's why people are so offended. How come you dream every night? Because I spend the appropriate time with God. I don't know what you're doing. Some of it is because I know what the requirements are, and then the rest of why I dream so frequently is because I am called by God to a particular office. That office has what we call revelation gifts, seeing of visions, hearing God's voice, and dreaming of dreams. They go along with the prophetic mantle, not being prophetic, the function, the gift, the office, the calling. Those things he gives them to me just because those things are the gifts that come with what I'm called to be without repentance. We thank God. We thank God for you, Celestia. We thank God about your assignment. I think you learned something. Each and every time I learn a lot on this channel, 
and this is the purpose of the channel for me and you to get more knowledge and get better and get closer to God. Ke tsepa o rotlo wa ithutile nena ke ithuta ibile ke ya golega ibile ke ya gola moyeng mehla le mehla tsa jika tsa tshe rentse ke thile tsa lenane o le ibile ke ba gauswe le modimo ke ba gauswe le ntjula modimo ka mehla ke tsepa re lena wa golega re boile re kopana gape ka ra lenane o le mo re tlo ithutantse di ntshintse ke wa ya gole re thutong me re le thutong let's meet again thank you